three, two. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War. It is me, Mad Mike, and we are here to talk some NXT. And with me, as advertised, is the one and only Sorgatron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Sorgatron and Sorgatron Media Studios here in the Beachview neighborhood of uh, beautiful, beautiful Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, doing our thing on the Thursday night for podcast 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 day number two. I'm sorry, I just saw the same dog, uh, same guy walking his dog again uh, that I always see, and 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 it's it's, it's distracting me because there's a giant window. He's a right scroll. Here. He's a scroll. He's a scroll. Sir. It's the other one of the same guy. Uh, but anyways, I, I am happy to be talking NXT with you, Mister Mad Mike. Uh, Sorg, I'm excited. I'm not sure why, but I'm excited. We'll figure out where your excitement's coming from in just a moment. All right, Sorg, what is your word for NXT this week? <sighs> Kicks. All the kicks in the world, which is really funny because we were making fun of people for super kicks on our Matt Connard interview we were recording today. But still, all the kicks, all the kicks in the world. Sorg, that was not one word. Well, kicks. Kicks was the word, and then oh, I okay, expanded okay, on okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, you expounded. All right, all right. Uh, my, my, my word this week is pantsuit. <laughs> Nothing is more badass than a Japanese woman in a I, pantsuit. I almost said my word this week was killery, but I didn't. Killery? I almo- killery. <laughs> See? See what I did there? Uh, he's the, See he's what the, I did? She's the valet to that progressive uh, guy that's, that's uh, wrestling in Tennessee that she saw on the news. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with all of this. Yeah. Um, Brandon is in the chat room here now on Facebook we are streaming on Facebook trying to get the quality up and they be where you guys are and his word is and it's a fire emoticon <laughs> so that's not a word Brandon well the word is fire but the, you Learn know, the, the format it's it, well, his format is he's, he's speaking to us in his native language of emojis okay oh. all right I guess hashtag shrug I don't know <laughs> All right, Sorg, what was your good for NXT this week? My good for this week? Uh, wow, I, I completely almost forgot that Johnny Bananas came back this week uh, in, in a wrestling Bananas! capacity, and he got new music. But that's not the good and awesome of this show that I'm going to remember it for. That is going to be um, um, Kyle O'Reilly and Aleister Black with the lead-in of of uh, Black and Atami. Like... I this is the most I've ever cared about a Tommy. Uh, I I'm a big fan of Alistair Black. I know you're not, Mike, uh, but uh, or have well, not I'm been sorry, up until wait 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 have, have not been up to this point. We'll get into that. But but I love that match. It was hard hitting. This is the kind of like oh okay match where that we get from NXT that I love and is why I watch NXT to to get those surprise. Oh, we're going to have this kind of match today. Um, you know, and, and I love that Kyle O'Reilly is there. Um, you know, one of those guys that I think is classified as a classic ROH kicky guy, but you know, <laughs> I care about him a lot more than Roderick Strong right now. Yeah, I, I want to be clear about Alistair Black. I'm a fan of him in the ring. Mm-hmm. In the ring, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. It's just I don't know who an Alistair Black is. That's my big issue. But um, I think he says it all in the ring, baby. I got um, tattoos no, and I kick no, people in the face. No, no, he doesn't. That, yes, he no, does. that's that. Sorg, stop getting your ROH in my NXT. Mm, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix my meta, my ROH and my NXT metaphors, and it's gonna be a delicious RNXTOH. Oh, Brandon said the fire emoji is another word for Ember Moon, which is two words, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> You've been watching for how long? You know the format. You no, know how he, mad Mike gets about he this. Said, he said his word is Ember, which, okay. <laughs> ember is fire. Oh, I get it. That's okay. very clever. We don't know emoticons. <laughs> I, I'm just messing with you. It, we, have a, we have a live chat room, sorry. I get the yes, message. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I love it. Um, all right. So my good this week is Asuka in a pantsuit kicking the fuck out of people. <laughs> Listen, a lot of the good that happened this week involves kicking. Um, really, I'm not NXT. Lie. 
I want Asuka to wrestle in a pantsuit from now on. <laughs> like, I want her and I want her and Loki to just be the suited listen, assassins. Listen, listen, That's listen. That's what I want. I want I want them to be a tag team called Wrestler's Warehouse, and you're gonna like the way you job. We guarantee it. That is way better than the joke I was trying to go. That's <laughs> all you do. And, and Brandon Pantsu is one word. Look it up. Pantsu wow. is one word. Wow. He's trying to he's trying to give me crap that it's two words. It's not two words. Look at that. We give him a, we give him a better chat room and they start rebelling against you, Mike. Seriously. Man. What is up with the chat? <laughs> <laughs> Only our show. Only also, our show. Hi, Tina. <laughs> Tina Keys is joining us too. Hello, she found us in our new venue. It's <laughs> yes. fantastic. But yeah, Oscar, this actually made me excited for the Oscar versus Ember Moon match. Mm -hmm. I'm still not excited for the prospect of Ember beating Oscar. <laughs> That's still where I, I, I have a disconnect. But I, I'm all for the match. The match is going to be great. I'm mm -hmm. still just not sold on Ember Moon. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and and, <laughs> and and again, I am, and, and and not that she's where she needs to be, but she's on her way, and I, I'm hoping that we see her turn the corner here in this match at uh, at Takeover. So, well, I think once she has such a strong, once she doesn't have such a strong personality like Oscar to go up against, mm -hmm. she will be able to shine more. I really think that has a lot to do with it. Absolutely. And plus, Asuka at this point is like a mythological beast in NXT. <laughs> yes. No, yes, I'm she serious. She, she's the longest reigning champion in the history of that promotion. She's a unicorn and a centaur that's going to kick your ass all in one. Basically, yeah. Yeah. She's, um, yeah, basically. All right. Okay. But Sorg, hmm. not, as we know, not every show is perfect. In fact, most shows are not perfect. What will be your bad for NXT this week? Talking. It felt loaded with talking and set up. Overloaded with talking and set up. Then it got to the kicking and I got happier. But uh, Really? Yeah. You thought there was too much talking this it week? It felt like it. it. It felt like it for a good part of the middle. The okay. Mi the middle was a mushy talking point. Okay. All right. Uh, my, my bad this week is Roderick Strong. <laughs> Just uh, on the table, Roderick Strong. Just, uh, Roddy, like, come on. Bro, why, why are you still part bro, of this? Just... You lost the you lost the Bobby Roode lottery. <laughs> just just deal. Oh, by the way, uh, this is an aside. This is a complete aside. I figured out why um, Eric Young has not been on TV the past couple weeks. Okay. Um. Apparently, his mother unfortunately passed away. Okay. Okay. So um. That makes so sense. Been, so he's taking time off. So so that that'll account for any of the oddity. Basically I think. every basically everything up to takeover. Yeah, yeah. So that that that, that, that in, in, it would probably be good timing for him to come back at takeover at, as a oh well he hasn't been here a while. What's going on with him? Oh crap, here he is. You know. Yeah, and uh, I wouldn't be. I would love it if Eric Young coming back is the reason that Sandy wins. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be absolutely, great. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, because because authors like every almost every undefeated champion needs to lose. I love. Lose. I love. The, uh, no, no, no. Mad Mike just hates winners. And no, 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 no. I don't hate winners. I hate too many winners at once. I know. I know. You're like, hey, this winner circle is getting crowded in here. We got to do something about this. Absolutely. All right. Uh, Sorg, if you could change something about NXT this week, what would it be? Ooh, what would I change? What would I change? What would I change? Um, not anything about Johnny Gargano. Um, not anything about the uh, was it Silva that had a match this week? Uh, I thought you know, oh, it looked uh, good. Sonya Deville. What's that? Sonya, Sonya, De Sonya Deville. Deville, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, oh, geez, what would I change? What would I change? Uh, I love the Hideo, Hideo thing, I love the the uh, O'Reilly match. Ooh, boy, boy, I would uh, just have Nigel just go full. I don't know what's happening anymore. This is Ring of Honor. Where's Kevin Kelly? <laughs> That's where I'm oh, at. Oh, please, please, let's not do that. Also realizing, as I'm seeing more and more come over from Ring of Honor, I don't know if I can go back and watch Ring of Honor because Kevin Kelly's not a part of it anymore. And last I knew, I didn't really care for that announcer. 
Um, welcome to my world. I, I never really liked any of the announcers on Ring of Honor, so that that's 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 not a selling point for me. Mm. Um, but if if I could change one thing, it would be um, who is fighting Bobby Roode? <laughs> because or who may be both fighting Roddy Ro, Bo, oh Bobby Roode? Oh God! I, if that turns into a triple threat of white meat, you know, I, it's gonna be. Wait, wait, what did we say? Um, three pieces of ham as the title of the show this week on Wrestling Mam Show, and that yeah, is yeah, that, three pieces, like, three pieces like of two, bland white meat. <laughs> dude, that's like two pieces of Branzino and a filet mignon. That's what that would be. <laughs> two cans of spam, two cans of spam <laughs> and a steak. <laughs> Two cans of spam and a steak. Oh, I love it. I wish I we had it. titles for this show, but maybe we'll start Me with too. something that, like that. That's a great title. I was like, two cans of spam and a steak. Uh, <laughs> I don't have, so and accurate. I don't hate the other guys. I want to, like, I want Roddy to to stick out, but it's just not right now, and I just can't buy into him, and I don't know what it is. No, you know, he needs to be healed. I, I guess he needs to be a heel Arrogant because heels heel. can, he needs, heels you know what he needs? Truth Martini. That's what he freaking needs. Oh, <laughs> it's God. Truth Martini. I would love to. No, you know, you know, what he could really use. And I'm throwing this out there. Taylor Hendricks. Oh, jeez. That's what he needs. Taylor Hendricks that's, is too wish woman for her WWE TV. That's, that that's is where, the point. That's my thoughts on that. That is the point. And if you've seen Lana's Snapchat, you know there's already a lot of too much woman on. Uh, geez. I, yes. <sighs> yes. Okay, absolutely. we're not getting into that. No, we're not. Uh, but if I could change something, you know what I would change, Sorg? Here's here's my booking. Here's my booking for something I would change. Okay. Something I would In the add. meantime, remind me on Wrestling Mayhem Show main show to tell you tell you my recent thoughts on the Lana uh, Instagram because I have to bookmark that for later. This isn't the show for it because I got I guess I got this statement on it and and I think you're gonna like it. Okay, all right. Um, and, and and answer, Brandon. I do not watch Impact because I am trying to value life. It's a new era. <laughs> make it's every a new day. Yes, it is. Make every moment count. And you know what? The way I see it, um. I watched Slammiversary. I enjoyed it. That felt like a good denouement to me watching Impact. Brother, you done your time. Yeah, I, I, I done my time. 15 years I done my time. Did you see the Tina comment? I did not see a Tina uh, comment. Just have Loki and Asuka become a Hitman tag team. Yes. Yeah. Also acceptable. The, pa the Pantsuit Assassins. The Pantsuit Assassins. Uh, but uh, my booking, Sorg... You know what I want to see? Hmm. I want I want to help Aleister Black. I want to help Aleister Black. I want to help people like me, like Aleister Black. Okay. So here's what I'm okay. gonna do. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Aleister Black with someone else who's been looking for someone to team with, someone who can who can really like keep up with him, and that would be Dylan Miley. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. And Sorg. And oh Sorg, wow. And Sorg, you know who I want them to face at Takeover? Um, Otis and the other guy. <laughs> Fuck that, Red Dragon. Ooh, wow! Yes, so many kicks, so I many have, devastating kicks. I have just fixed the NXT tag division. There you go. Right there. There you I've go. I literally fixed the entire division. Do you hear this, Paul and Regal? Do you hear this over here? Do you hear this, Nigel? Yep, I've just fixed the tag division for you. You're fucking welcome. And guess what? We don't even need TM61 anymore. Mm -mm, because mm -mm. guess what? Red Dragon is a much better well-known version of TM61. Ship them the impact, guys. We got this wrapped. Ship them to global. <laughs> All right, Sorg. Um, where do you rank NXT this week? Number two. Easy number two. Um, even with that kind of mushy middle uh, between Johnny Johnny Bananas, uh, some new girls having some fun stuff, and uh, and I just loved the Hideo and that last match uh, uh, stuff going on. I'm just like, I'm really really happy with NXT this week. Number two, easy. Yeah, the Hideo thing was easily the best thing he's done in about a year. Mm -hmm. Um, 
because he's just getting his his head kicked off. Yeah, which is great. Um, but I still don't. The, see but how the lead this up. Helps but the lead up of of getting mad at he's getting cut off and coming after the ring and everything, right? Like like I loved mm-hmm. like that character, right? And 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 there's a reason, and I don't know you you've seen. Um, they did announce Hideo and Alistair Black for uh, TakeOver. I did not see that. I just noticed when I was looking at the results here before the show. Oh, okay. So All right. Have I piqued your interest now, Mad Mike? No, that's much better. Mm-hmm. Because I, I was afraid we were going to get another Hideo and Ono match, and honestly, I don't want to see that. No, 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 no. Ono is your, like, in-between guy. He's okay. I mean, Ono is high end enhancement talent at this point, you know. But he's he's there helping everybody else out, right? Uh, so, uh, I'm still very <laughs> worried that Johnny Bananas is not going to be a takeover. Oh, he's going to be a takeover. No, I he's going to be a takeover. They just gave him new music. He's going to be a takeover. Yeah, but Sorg, Sorg, they're missing already, an opportunity. If so, Sorg, maybe he'll be on the pre-show. Have, we already have four matches booked. Yeah, I know. I know. We, we generally only have five. You can't you can't bring them off that DIY thing and not have them on. You can if Champa is injured. Mm, mm, no, but, I'm but you. what they should have what you. they should have done if Champa's injured. Here's I mean I said it before. You have Gargano go after Rude. You have Gargano go after Rude. Bobby Rude can play off the. You know, you were the weak link in your tag team, and now you think you can mess with Bobby Roode? Get the mm. hell out of here, little kid. Much as I want you that. You are Johnny Wrestling? I am wrestling. Much like, I, I am Bobby Roode. Like, right. And and then you have Gargano win the title. Mm. And then as he's celebrating, a, an injured Tommaso Ciampa comes out and kicks his fucking head off. That's That's how you end TakeOver. That's how you end it. And you and while he's still injured, Rudin get his rematch. So you're still playing with, with that time. And then you have a whole Johnny Gargano Tommaso Ciampa feud heading for Survivor Series or WrestleMania or Rumble or whatever. I, I like the idea. I like the idea. But obviously they have some more stuff they want to do in the meantime. So Yeah, they wanna they wanna put TNA in NXT. <laughs> NXT TNA, here we go. Stand up! Stand up for Drew Galloway. Oh, Oh. Same shit. Anyways, Let, let's just make it a four-way match. If we're gonna add Roddy, let's just add Johnny Gargano too. Mm-hmm. I, why not? Why not at this point? All right, but yeah, uh, NXT is number two for me this week because Oscar in a pantsuit that automatically puts it above most things. And then the Kyle O'Reilly Black match was really good. I saw no point to it, but it was a really good match. Okay. So yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Sorg, where can the good people on the internet find you? Uh, SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, There's a lot of big things happening now, and I just found out somebody was taking pictures of this very podcast as we were doing it and put it on Facebook from outside. So that's a new experience. Um, uh, Sorgatron on the Twitter, and uh, check out everything on the Instagrams and the Facebook at Sorgatron and Sorgatron Media and everything at Wrestling Mayhem Show now coming at you from the Facebook Live here on Thursday nights podcast day part two that we're looking to build out here in the next coming months podcast day two podcast harder Pod- uh <laughs> podcaster here and you you can catch me at mad mike 4883 on the twitter machine also look for at look at at mayhem show look for the hashtag mm for when i live tweet certain things such as lucha underground and also please join us facebook live just like Tina has, and she says that TM61 and Red Dragon would be an awesome match. I'm like, yeah, it would, but they're basically the same team. <laughs> they're basically the same team, except one has more charisma mm-hmm. than the other. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, so feel free to join us. Feel free to tell us why we're wrong. Feel free to tell us why we're right. Feel free to ask us questions. As you can see, we answer them. Mm-hmm. And, um... We will be here next week on Facebook Live discussing NXT on the Mid Week War!